Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Starfield. I apologize for the video being a few days late. I've been a bit, a bit under the weather. You can might be able to tell by my voice. But in the last video, I'll let you all decide down in the comments which uh, direction we should take the storyline. And as you can see, we're making our choice right now. The top voted comment was do nothing. Pick neither side and let them battle it out. So that's the uh, direction we're going to be heading in. Thank you all for the comments. Thank you all for all the support on the last video. And this video will have no commentary other than what you're hearing right now. I just had my mic muted again because my voice is not back to 100% yet. But thank you all so much for the support. If you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. And I am sorry we have not always been forthcoming. I hope you will see what I have seen. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you. Hey, I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know, to Sam. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. Wait, say that again? Multiple universes? You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. Let's take a step back. This is everything we've been building towards, and the implications are a lot to take in. Could you explain the part about multiple universes one more time for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. And that's why the Starborn want the artifacts so desperately. They're the keys to unlocking the infinite. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind? Enlightenment? Or oblivion? Like the hunter? You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second-guessing it? One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. I know this has been a lot for everyone to take in, but we finally have answers. Let's make the best of them. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry, I, uh... Hey, Captain. Can I I've been lost in thought it? for a bit. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Catch a smile out there.
Hey, what can I- Got anything you need to offload? Trade authority is always- I'm sure you can find something you like. Sure, have at it. It's always a good day when you come around. Ethan Hughes, Chief of Security. If you'll follow me, I'll show you to the Director. We'll take the back way up. Here, you can see our lovely storage area. Don't touch anything. So, uh... Nishina. What the? Easy! Easy! What the hell was that? What? One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. 
Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. But there's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Who are you working for? <sighs> Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. Come on, this way. Finally, someone came. The distress signal. You picked up the distress signal, right? What do you mean? Wait, how did you get in here? Hughes? Ethan Hughes? But he's dead. No. No, no, no. This doesn't make any sense. Unless... The accident. Maybe... Maybe this is a side effect of the accident. If the probe is still feeding power to the distortion, then... Right. We were studying a gravitational distortion. Three months ago, I was calibrating an experiment in our high-energy research lab. There was an accident. An explosion. It caused a gas leak. Sparked a fire. I was trapped in the control room. There was nothing I could do. They're... They're all dead. The lab was built around a xenolith with a dense metallic ob... Sophia, we should... Wait, he's back. All right, we're on our way up. He was out. I was just filling in the director. Let's keep moving. If anything happens, the director's office is on the second floor, end of the hall. You can't miss it. This way. Come in. Kaya Patel, research director. And this is our chief scientist, Maria Hughes. Ethan said you disappeared right in front of him. Twice now? Three times? Director. You can't be taking this seriously. Look, I don't know who you are or what you're doing here, but there has to be a rational explanation for all of this. Excuse me? That is quite a claim. What makes you think that? Tell us about this other universe. Raphael. Raphael died in the accident. He... Wait, burned out? The leak? Director, there was a hydrogen leak right after the accident. It was contained in a minute or two. But if it hadn't been, it could well have caused an explosion. Another universe, though. That's a lot to swallow. An artifact? You mean the source of the distortion? You know something about it? Really? That's all you're gonna say? No, no. Fair enough. 
You have a prior connection with them then. Maybe that's why this is only affecting you. <sighs> this facility and the research level two kilometers beneath us were built to study a gravitational distortion. This artifact and the field it creates. Three months ago, our chief engineer, Raphael, was calibrating an experimental probe when something went wrong. We still don't know what happened. There was a series of explosions and somehow it's still running. That would make sense. That's why the field strength keeps increasing. We have a control unit for the probe. After the accident, I tried to use it to shut down the system, but the kill switch isn't responding. We could shut it off manually, but the entire research level is locked down. We can't even get down there. How? I told you the research level's locked down. We can't even use the damn elevator. What? Clever. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is crazy. But first, we have to do something about your shifting. Maria, do any of the other controls still work? Could we adjust the particle sampling rate or the beam voltage? You can't be serious. We have no idea what we're doing. This thing is already tampering with space-time. If this gets any worse... It may also get worse if we do nothing. Right now, this seems to be our only path forward. <sighs> All right. It's worth a try. Then it sounds like we have a plan.